Hello, subbies and new buddies. Welcome to a new series that we're starting. Let's just turn on the lamps now. Uh, we are going to play Resident Evil Revelations. I am worth a big fan of all Resident Evil franchises that they came out so far. Actually, I, I don't think I... Well, okay. Okay. I like the games more than I hate them. But I definitely like all the games that came out so far. Uh, you know, contrary to popular belief, however. But yes, we're going to start Revelations. And I apologize for not actually doing this immediately on the day it came out and it was only because of pure procrastination let's just get honest here all right so we're gonna go ahead and start uh of course this game can be played on both the keyboard and the controller i will be playing on the controller but i am indeed playing this on the pc so i am going to show you the how i'm just going to move my mouse real fast and then i'm going to show you that on the top left corner controller reveal the move the mouse keyboard mouse reveal. all right great all right so i did uh, start this game a bit only up to Bit of the first episode only to match sound and revelations. Uh, did, did it not still fix sound? No, I think it's fine. No, I think it's fine. It's okay. We'll, we'll check out the first episode. All right. So, um, this portion right here, I am not at all appealed by this menu. <laughs> it's just campaign, raid mode, and options. Simple as that. So it's okay. It's an HD version of the DS, right? Which I actually did demo the, the DS version, but it's unfortunate that it was on the 3DS a platform and there isn't an emulator for that for me to show you guys. So we're going to start a new game? Yes, I'm going to start a new game. Oh, Cairo no more in Inferno. Why is it spelled like that? Why, why, is, why, is how, why does it look like it's spelled wrong? Inferno. I keep thinking it's supposed to be spelled like Inferno, but whatever. It's fine. We're going to do ca uh, normal. Can't do casual. Because we're, we're actually we're actually okay at Resident Evil games. We're actually okay. And of course, as you see in the bottom right corner. Oh, hello. What's this? Lower left stick down. Oh, that's him. God damn it. Oh, shut up. Hey, Jill. It's been 94 minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them... Right here on this ship. Alright, so uh, apparently this is just another one of those missions where we had to find one of our lost, lost friends. Alright, so um, I did play the sound check with... Or rather, I did uh, play in the keyboard mouse when I did the sound check, and of course, sound uh, keyboard mouse is just absolutely atrocious for Resident Evil uh, games. Don't know why, but the controller is fine. I feel just as it feels just as easy as it is on uh, any of the other console versions. So we're good here. Ooh, what's this? I don't like the sound of that. Oh, you don't like the sound of that? It's fine. I didn't really do too much searching, but I'm pretty sure you can't find anything here. If I know any games, it's just like the prologue, right? Oh, hello! Might be able to shoot it off. Yep, feels just as natural to me as I uh, as I played the um, other Resident Evil games so much, especially Stitch. five. It's been abandoned for a while. Oh. 
course, I've seen these things before. Oh, what's this? Crew's dead. What did this to them? I can't tell if they're decomposing or they're mutating. It's probably a little bit of both. It's probably. Oh, wow, that one. Conveniently placed skulls in a ventilation shaft. Okay! Alright! I still don't understand too much of the HUD, but I get that on the top right, top right is the mini map. I don't know what is that. A pill under the mini map? I have no idea. Ugh, it smells like rotting flesh. It smells like uh, rotting fresh. Uh, we can go ahead and open the door. Mm, yeah. Uh, it's, I think the, uh, the, they actually con uh, considered to actually make the running a default and then. Running a default, but then walking and actually a button command because, oh maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, it, I don't have the whole button down to run. <gasps> Ooh, I remember that. Oh, oh Parker, oh isn't it Parker, right? I think. Which, which I gotta say, I, I actually, you know, I have appreciation for this new character and the way he looks. So, I'll get that. I'll get to that later. Ooh. I remember that, but I, I never, I didn't, I didn't understand it because I was just rushing through it to see if I could do soundtrack. Oh, I guess someone's in the ventilation staff. I There's remember this portion. Coming from the ducks. It's Arn. I've never seen a mutation like this. So yeah, it must be the enemies that we're fighting are all from the mutations. No power, which means no elevator for us. Oh, and I, I must, must, must comment on the fact that this woman is now a brunette again. I don't know, but the West girl was like, "Yo, girl, when I catch you, dye your hair blonde." It's not working. Cause I like blonde chicks. That's why Excella didn't survive in five. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, nothing over here. Oh, there it is. More. Nothing over here. Ooh. Can you? Oh yeah, you can find stuff in here. Ooh, excellent. I get like it a lot. Oh, I should also pretty much dis uh, discuss the inventory because I have yet to really uh, take a good look at that. Just, um, I haven't taken time to really uh, take a good look at that. Can you? Can you? Destroy you? No, you cannot. How's reloading? Yep, reloading is just as natural. Is there collision? Oh, there is collision, but I can push my partner just as easily. Uh, what else is there? Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead. That's that start. So, yeah, not too much going on there. I am in the menu. I press select. Okay, so the pill represents items. Oh, that. Okay, so the pill under the mini map tells me the herbs I have. Okay, gotcha, dog. Ammunition. Okay. There's a limited amount. Fudge. Okay, basic menu for the game, and okay, this map is gonna be atrocious for me to study and understand. Uh, doors that cannot be opened yet. Doors cannot. Uh, doors that can't be opened. Destination weapon box. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's fine. Oh, that's what happened. There's some huge ass rats. Holy crap! Life will be completely scared if rats like that existed. Shorted out. It's funny how it's shorted out, but none of the rats are dead. I would imagine they bit through them. You know, I, you know, you think they'll get electrocuted, but no, not in this world. I'm assuming this is the cafeteria lounge. Oh, hello, lockers. Oh yes, 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 yes. No, I, I guess uh, since there's a limited amount of ammo, I should not be shy. I should just go rocka rocka on all of them. Oh, that person. Oh, look at his arm. Ooh. Ugh, the face is smashed in completely. I guess he wasn't one of the chosen ones to be a, a mutation. <laughs> oh, this told me no one was cooked. Oh, what is this? What is this? Jeez, take a look at this. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, Parker. It's locked from the other side. Okay, no big deal. But I swear there's something over here. Uh, wasn't there a command for me to do something? Uh. Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. I 
got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. Shoot the town. Okay, let's not be shy. Let's not be shy. Let's go. We're giving living a mount. Okay, I don't know the weakness to these monsters just yet. But if I had to say, uh, these are Silent Hill kind of type of creatures. It's like, uh, that's the only way I can relate to them. <gasps> Look at their feet! Oh, damn it. Mm. This explains our missing crew. This is not good. This is not good. Of course it's not good. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, this, that was basically the prologue. So, so far, from what I've seen in this game, I don't know, initially, there's just a bunch of cutscenes, so that's is pretty much how I... I don't know how it's gonna be. But, um, in terms of how I'm gonna produce the uh, episodes for you guys daily, um, I'm gonna keep the first one long, just because I don't know how to want to approach it yet, but if it's like this, episode one, Into the Depths, um, I, I, I would never go more than a half an hour, but I won't give you, you know, it would be about half an hour each, but I don't know how, you know, if it's like, if each episode is short, so. Alright, cutscene time, alright, be quiet. Mm. This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But... In 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC, the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S. was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. The BSAA, a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. Exercise. I assume you both know that the FBC has cordoned off the entire area. However, in the past.
past few weeks, a number of mysterious carcasses have washed up. I guess the FDC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is going to put two and two together. And that's why I've sent the BSAA in to investigate. Did you pick up your new equipment from Quint? Yeah. Genesis or something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No, uh, I brought it with me, just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're going to need it on your mission. Yeah, I'm on it. Genesis Manual Version 1.0.9 I was gonna say right off the bat, I think Parker's a cool guy. I think he's gonna be a cool character. I hope he doesn't die, but uh, we'll just have to see. Alright, so I'm gonna get to you. Genesis, the nickname of a high-level bioscanner currently being tested and developed by the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium. It bounces special sino synchrotron radiation off a target in order to an analyze it. Viral analysis it is possible to detect and analyze even the smallest amount of viruses. Since version 1.0.4, it has been possible to produce simple vaccines from the viral analysis data. Vaccine manufacturing. Detection. Using synchrotron radiation, it is possible to detect specific objects, the data for bullets, medicinal herbs, etc. are registered within the internal memory for testing. If a detectable object is nearby, the indicator in the lower right of area of the monitor will light up. Okay. Great. I get it. Alright, so this new item... Um, or rather, a uh, mechanic that they brought to this game that I think I actually enjoy. I mean, I yeah, I don't have a reason to hate it just yet. Um, is uh, ah, look at this, this thing called the Genesis, the and I appreciate it a lot only because of the fact that I never understood how or why, like we were just able to know the weaknesses of zombies other than you know shoot them in the head, right? But because these guys are a bit different, it's good that they brought this mechanic here because we don't know exactly what their weaknesses are just like the weakness in the, the monsters that were in Resident Evil 6 it was just so damn difficult because there was too many new ones and it was just like okay so you you shoot its insides right you shoot when its mouth is open like it's just it just got all crazy but here we go scanning with Genesis a Genesis requires a decent sample size to get an accurate reading scan the carcasses on the beach and send me your data Alright, so these things are actually living beings, but they're dead, so uh, that's what I understand. So we either approach a 90 or 100% rather. Our bumper activated Genesis from inside it. and our trigger, uh, sorry, left bumper activated Genesis and our trigger uh, starts the analyzation. Careful now. Don't worry, I've done this before. Got something. What is this? If it's an engineered mutation, this could prove a link. I'll run some tests on this. Continue with the investigation. Yeah, I would imagine finding objects inside these carcasses would not always uh, deliver a cutscene but it was just for that particular case because there's something there. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and search a little bit because I'm pretty sure there are things here. No, things cannot be... Oh. Out there. That's where Terragrigia was. Has it been a year already? Yeah, that's the time right there. The floating island of Terragrigia. Oh, what's this? Terragrigia Solar Tower. Something float city. These canisters look out of frame, but you can touch them or something. Go ahead and grab. Oh, there are more. Yes, there is. Wait, I'm just confused. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, now I can hold 60. Super. Alright. Holding 30, I was like, what? I'm, I'm a big fan of holding, um, conserving ammo in the Resident Evil games just because that's how 4, 4 kind of burnt that idea in my head. So, a big fan of just like, um, just like, Shooting for the weakness and then punching them or away. Oh, in this game they call it faltering, which I guess is what it is. Oh, can you shoot this bird? Oh, uh, sadness. We will never know. Oh, 
Oh, whoa. It moved. Okay, this one, right? I, I see I see the blood. I see the blood being... Oh, well, he's, he's attracted to me. He wants someone to jill. I suppose. So why'd you quit the FBC for this outfit? I wanted to be more involved. I wanted to fight. I see you two are okay. Continue with the investigation, but proceed with extreme caution. The timeline is a little fuzzy to me. Um, I know the news reporter said that it's currently 2005, and I know right now we are before we end up on that ship in the prologue. So, yeah. We don't have enough data to run a complete analysis. Gather some more samples from the carcasses on the beach. Can, wait, can I, can I read? Oh, oh, okay. So you can't read. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead then, right? Because I mean, there's nothing over here. There are these fences telling me I can't can't go. So yeah. Uh, this is shit. It won't open. I think something's jamming it. Uh, do I shoot something? Oh, is it? Is it from the? It thinks something is jamming. Wait a second, like. Yeah, something's preventing it to open, right? Did I shoot something? Uh... I don't know if I can shoot something. No, I'm just destroying, I'm just destroying my accuracy here. Yeah, and see, that's gonna bother me, because... It doesn't make sense why I would need to come back here again. And there's no jumping mechanic ever in Resident Evil. Uh... What if I just shot this? Oh, whatever. I see the cock is on the floor. Oh, what's this? 3%. Mm -hmm. Ooh, birds. He? No! Oh, I shot it. I know I did. So you can't shoot the birds in this game. Oh, hello. 11%, really? That small blob? Oh, what the hell? Ugh, that smell must have ruptured from gas. Wait a second, wait, wait, wait. I can move with the Genesis. Can I shoot? <gasps> I can move with the shooting. Ah, that's amazing. That's some. That's fudging amazing. Wait, what's the melee? Is there melee in here? Because melee is usually the R bumper. <gasps> okay, melee without without holding the trigger down. Ooh. We should dance. Oh wow, that that's, that's throwing me off, the moving and shooting. Okay. Grenades! Sub weapon controls. Use weapons with R bumper. Use weapon with while aiming with L trigger plus R bumper. Switch weapons only carry two at a time. Interesting. Aha! Oh, oh shoot. Wait, I thought I was able to control Okay, I didn't read that correctly. I need fast enough for the start. Port menu. Genesis operation. Dang it. Well, so something about R pumper left trigger. Alright, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Can we kill with these crates? Looks somewhere we've been abraded. Uh, all good. Anything over here? Oh, hello. Also, oh, when the Genesis says something will light up at the bottom left corner, is that what that is? Something is within the vicinity. Alright, so we need one more sample. Uh, yeah, I don't see it. Oh, right here. Yeah. Getting complete. I got a plus herb because I'm so badass. Getting your analyzing rate or analyze rate to 100% will earn you a health recovery item. Sure, okay, why not? The rate you receive will go down if you analyze enemies, enemies of the same kind. I'm confused. I've collected enough samples. Good. Get them to me ASAP. 
Oh, that grenade over there? Join up with O'Brien. Oh, there's one over here. So wait. There it is. Oh, that's how I could have scanned that one. Okay. It's supposed to be shining over here. I think. Uh, we will never know. Alright. Let's con just continue forward. <laughs> Okay then, that's what was going on. Show me mouth. Show me mouth, big boy. Come on. There it is. Don't be shy. Damn it, Parker. There it is. That has teeth. That's scary. Alright, what happens if I scan this? Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Enough to chat. There you are. Nice work. No doubt about it. These corpses show signs of viral infection. And I bet it's no coincidence they came through the FPC's blockade. Well, we did all we can. Now, we wait for the results to come back from HQ. Huh? It's the emergency line. Yeah. Me. Uh huh. What? Yes, that's fine. I'll take it from here. We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Uh huh. Good. Get to it. Bill, Parker. You two are still on the case. What happened? Lost contact with Chris and Jessica. When? How? We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. The signal was lost over the ocean. Thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. But judging from their position, they must be... On a ship. I'll go back to HQ. Take charge of the search and rescue. You two will be my eyes out there. Yes, sir. got the end results, accuracy, and in, in, in depths, and clear time. Oh, that's gonna bother me. Oh, that's gonna bother me greatly. Saving after a scene or episode is optional, but saving often is recommended. Oh, uh, oh wow. Ma manual save. Oh, I haven't done this in a long time. Holy crap. Alright, well, uh, there, there's that. Yeah, I think this is a, it's appropriate time to actually end the episode. So I hope you guys are gonna uh, enjoy this series. I I definitely gonna enjoy it because I love Resident Evil so much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, guys. Until then.